Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Magic of Amethyst, live with Gemology Jen. So I'm Gemology Jen. First, uh, so first, I want to wish you all happy February. Sorry I had to miss last week. I want to thank all of you for all of your warm wishes. I really appreciate it. Much better now. Thanks. So February is such a beautiful month, right? It's filled with love. We have Valentine's coming up this weekend. Um, we have the remembrance of black history all month long. And February is a short and sweet month leading up to the springtime where everything comes into bloom, right? So for all of you February babies like me, so February is my uh, birthday month, uh, we are blessed to have Amethyst as our birthstone. So who else has a birthday this month? Put it in the comments or the chat if it's your birthday. Hi, Martha. Uh, welcome. So I want to be able to celebrate with all of you February babies. And today we are going to talk about Amethyst, our birthstone, today and all month long. So who here gets a little irritable during the winter and has had enough with being stuck at home, being more alone, and missing out on all of the physical, social events that we used to have, right? So for a lot of people, these situations can really lead to bad addictions and, destruct and destructive behavior sometimes. I know for me, being sick, um, I started binge watching TV because there was nothing else to do. I started watching Game of Thrones, if you can believe it. I've never seen it. Uh, <laughs> so now that I'm better, it's kind of hard to get back into what was my normal activities of working out and eating well. So for a week and a half or whatever that I was doing nothing kind of made, put me into like a bad routine, right? So today we're going to talk about the magic powers of Amethyst's beautiful, majestic color purple and how it can help you with things like this. I'll show you what to avoid and what shade of purple Amethyst is best for you. So we can, we can all admit, right, that we all feel sad or frustrated or get into addictive habits every now and then. Not all the time, but now and then. So we need to take notice of these negative actions and really take positive steps towards a calm, peaceful way of living with self-control to have a happy and balanced life, right? We all strive for that. But before we begin, I want to tell you the ancient story of how Amethyst was created. So this is a legendary story. It wasn't the actual way Amethyst was created but it is such an interesting story that I wanted to share it with you. So this is according to Greek legend of how Amethyst gemstone was created. And it was believed that the Greek god of wine, Dionysus, uh, was the creator of Amethyst. And the story goes like this. There was a mortal who insulted the god of wine, Dionysus, and as a result, he became so furious that he vowed to avenge the insult by killing the next person to cross his path. In his anger, Dionysus unleashed furious tigers upon a beautiful young maiden named Amethyst. She was a virgin on her way to pay homage to Artemis, a goddess of childbirth and virginity. Uh, yet in the very instant the tigers leaped, Artemis protected the young maiden by turning her into a statue of pure white crystal quartz. So when Dionysus realized what had happened in his drunken state, he felt such remorse for his actions and his tears dripped into his goblet of red wine. The goblet then overturned and the red wine spilled all over the white, white uh, rock crystal statue and it saturated it until it became pure purple quartz that is now known as amethyst. So this is why amethyst is known for having the power to prevent the effects of alcohol and is part of amethyst meaning even today. And it's also believed that that's where amethyst 
got its color from. But we'll talk about that a little bit more because it's more scientific than that. But this is more romantic, right? So the name amethyst derives from the Greek word amethystos, which means a remedy against drunkenness. So a benefit that has long been associated with the purple amethyst birthstone. So today amethyst means that one appreciates the need for moderation in all things, enforcing the need for balance and not overindulgence. So is there anyone here that suffers from any kind of indul overindulgence? I'm sure a lot of us do once in a while, but we don't want to make a, a big habit of overindulging too much, right? Because too much of anything can be very harmful. And this is one reason why the powers of amethyst are so important. So if you have a, an addictive personality to food or drink or cigarettes or even work or maybe obsessively on social media, then wearing an amethyst can help you keep all of these dependencies in balance for a healthier lifestyle with less emotional and mental anxieties. So now that we know how amethyst came to be and some of its meanings, let's talk about the powers of amethyst color purple. So who here loves the color purple? So not the powerful movie, but the actual color, like my sweater, I'm wearing purple for you guys. And um, so I really love the color purple, not just because it's part of my birthstone, but it's just a very pleasing color to me. So. If you love the per color purple, let me know why you love it. How does purple make you feel? Each of, so with colors, each of the rainbow, the colors of the rainbow have very different vibrational energies that affect each of us emotionally and psychologically. And purple is at the top, so it's a great mood enhancer. But to understand how great amethyst is, we need to talk about the different shades of purple and how it can influence you differently. Because some have positive influences and some have negative influences. And I want to let you know which you need more of and which to avoid. So amethyst can range from, I'll show you the slide. Amethyst can range from a light lilac to a rich, intense royal purple to a very dark purple. So which one of these colors do you think we need to avoid? If you said dark purple, you would be right, because this shade of amethyst has more of a negative influence. It creates a feeling of, of sad and frustration. So you want to be careful on how much you surround yourself with this color, because it can sometimes um, make you feel like the walls are closing in on you and there's no way out. So it puts you into a kind of depression or a funk that things aren't going to get better. So if you want to paint your room or something like that, maybe you can paint one wall, but don't paint the whole thing, that dark, dark purple. And this is like a dark purple that's close to black. So, so if you have too much of this dark purple, it can make you a little bit irritable and maybe you act a little bit arrogant. So you might become more impatient with the people around you. You may also experience having an uncaring attitude and negative feelings. So you may have less empathy toward other people. So stay away from the negativity of dark purple if you have tendencies of feeling sad, frustrated, or irritable. It will only make it worse. So now we're going to talk about the other color, the color of purples that is happier and have more positive uh, connotations. And this will affect your emotions, your uh, spiritual side, and your actions in a more positive way. So does anyone know how amethyst actually gets its color besides spilling red wine on uh, colorless quartz like the Greek gods in the Greek legends said? So in reality, amethyst gets its color from irradiation and iron impurities that are natural in the earth. So it's naturally occurring irradiation and 
uh, when those iron impurities are present, you get that nice color purple. So you need these specific elements to get that beautiful purple color. And we're only talking about the purple variety of quartz, which is amethyst. So we know now how nature makes amethyst purple. Who here knows how we make purple? I know you all know how we make purple because we learned it when we were kids, right? Mixing paints and coloring with those four basic colors. You'd go to a restaurant and they give you something to draw on and they give you those basic red, yellow, green, and blue crayons, right? So how did we make purple? You add the blue and the red together, right? So basically you're adding a cold color, so that blue color, which is a common color, to a warm color, so a red energetic color. And last month we talked about how red really fires you up and makes you passionate, right? So what do you think this mixture of warm and cool create? What kind of feelings do you get? What kind of influence does that create? to have this warm and cool color mixed together. So it creates a color that represents royalty, luxury, power, and ambition. And it also represents meanings of devotion, peace, pride, mystery, independence, and magic. So when you think of purple, uh, you see that a lot in magic shows and in all things that are mystical, right? So <clears throat> how does the color purple affect you physically? So let's talk about how the color the different color purples affect you. So the pure purple, so equal amounts of red and blue, they can have a calming effect over your mind and your nerves. So you'll be more on an even keel and calmer. It can trigger creativity. So it's a great color for a room of your house. So unlike the dark purple, this one you can paint a whole room um, this pure purple color because also it is the color of imagination. So when you think of rainbow purple, you think of rainbows and unicorns where imagination lives, especially for little girls. Every little girl loves purple. So if you're if you want to be more imaginative, you want to surround yourself with this color. Spiritually, uh, pure purple represents passion, a deep connection to your higher self so that you can become your best self. Um, it's associated with the third eye chakra so you can have more focus on the things you want to accomplish. And it helps you feel more fulfilled and it gives you more vitality in your life. It gives you that feeling of more zest for life. So you have a nice, rich, satisfying life, and you're closer to that self-actualization that we all strive for. So all of which help align uh, your spiritual side and your physical side with the whole of the universe. So you feel like you and the universe are actually one. The lighter color purple, kind of like this uh, shade, affects women more on emotional level. So this color helps women connect with their feminine delicacy and energy. So it's a more soft and sweet color. Um, <clears throat> it, it feels very fragrant and it's more sweet and it's more feminine. It also gives uh, women more romantic feelings and gets them in the mood for uh, romance. And uh, lastly, it gives you feelings of nostalgia, rem reminiscing about the past, uh, things you're grateful for, and all of the people that you love. Lastly, we have bright purple. And this has always been associated with the richness, uh, with richness and royal ranks. So throughout history, you'll see the most influential royalties and high clergy wearing these luxurious purple robes, right? So you'll also see these royals and clergy wearing purple amethyst jewelry on their body and on their clothing, so on the robes or their crowns or anything that they wear. They'll wear these big um, amethyst jewelry. So whoever's feeling uh, anxiety or anxiousness, lonely, uh, dis 
connected to yourself. You want to add some purple, either pure purple, light or bright purple in your life to feel more calm, creative, fulfilled, and majestic, and also um, be in balance so you can uh, keep those overindulgences at bay, right? So back to my workouts, back to eating healthy, uh, back to being healthy. So I'm thankful for that. So that's all about amethyst color for now. And next week, we're going to talk about the uh, physical, emotional, and spiritual powers of amethyst. And then uh, our last talk will be more about uh, how to buy an amethyst, what you need to look for for that perfect amethyst. So I wish you all a great weekend. And uh, for those of you not signed up yet, I do have my jewelry design workshop on uh, tomorrow, <laughs> uh, tomorrow, pre-Valentine's Day. So I hope uh, you can all make it. And the link is on the event. So see you all soon. Thanks for joining. Bye.